Yes, I'm Kalpana from South Asia Solidarity Group. It's one of the organizations, along with many others, which has organized this protest today. And this is an amazing show of the unity of the diaspora, of anti-fascists, of students, saying to Modi, we will not accept your fascism. And we have seen since 2014 how Modi is trying to create an exclusive Hindutva fascist state out of India. We've seen the mob lynchings in the streets of Muslims and Dalits. We've seen the revoking of Article 370 in Kashmir. Kashmir was already under occupation for so many decades. And what Modi did was to make it into open colonialism and to put Kashmir under a communications lockdown. <laughs> But the people are on the streets in India saying no to this. And we today are telling them that we are with them. We are making their voices heard all across the world. We are making their voices heard to Boris Johnson, to Preeti Patel, who herself is an RSS person, to all the fascist regimes across the world that the people say no. And I want, before I finish, to bring a special mention of the fact that women, the inspiring, incredibly inspiring, courageous women of Shaheen Bagh, <laughs> and all the other Shaheen Baghs that are springing up across India, those women are out there in the cold of the, you know, the North Indian winter is pretty cold. They're out there. And they are saying to Modi, we are going to stay here with our children until you revoke the CAA, until you abolish the NPR and the NRC. And we are not going anywhere because we are fighting for our future. We are fighting for our children's future. We are fighting for the Constitution and we are fighting for the future of India. <laughs>
think we, the diaspora in the UK, have something to say to Yogi Adityanath? Hum kya chate? Hum kya chate? Hum kya chate? Hey, hak khamara! Hey, hak khamara! Hey, hak khamara! Hey, hak khamara! Hum chin ke lenge! Hum chin ke lenge! Hum chin ke lenge! Support. In India, this support 
is now being dented by the huge movement that has arisen to publicly challenge the institutionalized discrimination of Muslims and other smaller minorities. Have no doubt, the principal target are the Muslims of India who live in a climate of fear. The privileged Muslim stars of Bollywood, most of whom kept silent on the crimes and the atrocities committed in Kashmir, will learn lessons the hard way. I wish you all support. There was a banner carried in a demonstration in Hyderabad a week ago. Thank you, Modi, for uniting Hindus and Muslims. It is a sentiment that I support, and I hope that more Hindus and Sikhs will join Muslims and Christians in combating the Modi regime. Solidarity with all those who are marching in the streets against Modi thugs, whether in police uniforms or not. The proud moment. Manu Vance, Azadi! Manu Vance! Manu Vance! Manu Vance! Modi Shase! Modi Shase! Brahmanism Se! Brahmanism Se! Manu Vance! Ladies and gentlemen, I stand here in solidarity with the women of Shaheen Bagh. I stand here in solidarity against fascism. Today, on the eve of the Indian Republic, I join millions in India who have risen to protect their freedoms and human rights. I stand in solidarity with all of you assembled here today from across the legs and breadth of Britain to demonstrate against the rise of fascism, authoritarianism, and dictatorship under the BJP regime. The BJP RSS hegemony has deliberately created social and political crises in India to test the sentiments of the Indian people. It has created a constitutional crisis and that by the enactment of the Citizenship Amendment Act. Its ugly agenda to establish Hindu Raj must be resisted. There is disdain for the recognition of human rights. Political hate speech is running rampant, inciting violence. Muslims, our brothers, are being attacked on the basis of their faith and also Dalits and other religious minorities. Whether it is in the name of triple talaq, love jihad, cow slaughter, cow protection, mobs roam around the country to target Muslims. There is rampant cronyism and corruption. Religion and government are intertwined. Religion is used to manipulate public opinion through controlled media. People are called into patriotic frenzy to eliminate a perceived common threat. Jingoistic language against foreign threat is causing unwarranted fear. Any dissent is seen as anti-national. BJP, RSS ideologues routinely spew out Hatred. Amit Shah called poor immigrants termites, a reminder of how to teach record cockroaches in the Rwandan genocide. We condemn the jingoism of Yogi Adityanath when he called for Padla for peaceful protesters. Political hate speech has risen 500% according to the NTTV survey. Former President of India, Pranab Mukherjee, speaking at the Davos conference yesterday, led the support to the anti-CAA protesters. Dr. Ambedkar, Chief Architect of Indian Constitution, warned that India is not yet a nation. It is a heterogeneous mass of customs, cultures, and religions. Dr. Ambedkar enshrined nation-building principles of liberty, of equality, 
of fraternity and justice into the Constitution. Principles that are now being slowly chipped away by the present BJP regime. The founding fathers of the Indian Republic would be turning in their graves to see India shift towards dictatorship and fascism. We must all join together to resist the rise of fascism and put a stop to the Hindu Raj, which would be the greatest calamity to the Indian people. Jai 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 Bhim! Jai 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 Bhim! Azadi Manu Mahal Se! Manu Mahal Se! Manu Mahal Se! In solidarity, thank you very much. Affiliated to Modi, who went in with the blessings of the police. And in all these places and many, many, many other universities and colleges across the country, students are standing strong for Azadi. Now, our next speaker is from one of the groups which has been very active in organizing this demonstration. Please welcome Joe from SOAS India Society. Before Joe speaks, I'm going to do a few slogans. It collapsed in the bath! 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 Hi, um, I'm Joe. I'm here on behalf. Uh, and as part of the SOAS India Society and also as a gay trans person. <laughs> and today, um, while there are so many flags, it's important to remember that the flag and the constitution has never belonged to the Dalits, to Adivasi people, to Kashmiris, to women, to queer people, and to trans people. <laughs> Having said that, Having said that, I'd like to thank you all firstly for coming out in large numbers over the last few protests, over the last few months as students meeting uh, together and coming together during solidarity events, organizing together. It's important because it's also imperative to remember that even though we are away from our country, from our homeland, from our friends and from our family, and we feel depressed over here, um, we are here we care and we can share our despair. We are here to represent the student community of not only SOAS, but also the UK, along with the South Asian students against fascism in the UK. And Paromita will be talking about that soon uh, with us. Um, it's not the time to be apolitical. It is not the time to rest your head on privilege, especially as students, especially as workers. I don't know why the state is surprised that we are protesting. You taught us to respect and love our constitution. You taught us that we live in the world's largest democracy. You taught us that a democracy takes care of all minorities, no matter how small that minority is. We are simply here doing what you taught us to do. And we will be here until every minority, every trans person, every queer person, every woman, every Dalit, every Kashmiri, every Muslim, every worker has a society that values their being. With this, we call on you students, workers, everybody here to join us on the streets to organize and resist. Now say with me, students and workers, unite and fight! 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 I'm going to pass the mic to South Asia students against uh, fascism in the UK because we are students across universities who have come together because this is about cross-border solidarity. Since this government came into power, we have seen sustained violence against Muslims, Dalits, trans persons, all minorities in India. The people of Kashmir have been living under state violence and militarization 
since 1947. And as we chant Azadi here today, we must remember there is no Azadi in India without Azadi for Kashmir. Since the fascist Bolsonaro is today, is India's Republic Day guest tomorrow, we marched with comrades from Chile, Iran, Kurdish, Palestine to resist fascism worldwide and Brazil. Fascist leaders expect their people not to draw connections with other struggles around the world. They rely on this. But the tactics of these states are aligned and the struggles of the people are also aligned. They're scared of us coming together. That's exactly why we must show solidarity against authoritarian and violent regimes all over the world. We will use, we will use our international platform today in solidarity with the women from Shaheen Bagh, with students protesting all over India, with the farmers and workers protesting today, with indigenous people fighting for rights over their land, and all struggling voices and communities fighting oppressive, patriarchal, fascist states across the world. And on the eve of India's Republic Day, it's more important than ever to invoke the words of Ambedkar. We must educate, we must agitate, we must organize. Without further ado, and I ask you to put your hands together for Janab Shamsuddin Aga of the Indian Muslim Federation. Khun phir khun hai, tapkega to jam jayega. Atil, maut ke baad hayat aati hai. Hayat ke baad maut aati hai. Ye sarkal chalta rahe. लेकिन अब उन लोगों में से जब मुल्क को खून की जरूरत हुई हमने खून दिया और जब भी जरूरत होगी खून देंगे डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स इन अ हिस्टोरिक ओकेजन वी आर ऑल हियर टुगेदर टू आस्क फॉर नथिंग बट आजादी व्हिच इज योर बेसिक राइट दिस इज अ हिस्टोरिक प्लेस दिस इज अ पावर हाउस हियर वी वांट टू Tell those people sitting on their cushy chair that look, don't wait. There is this Holocaust too waiting in India. Holocaust too waiting in India. Wake up, stop it before we are in the same situation as Germany was. What we want? Why we want? What we want? From who? From Modi. From fascists, we want Azadi. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. I'm feeling great to see so many people out here to resist. And not only people from India, people from across the world coming out and show, showing solidarity and building international solidarity to fight against fascism across the globe. Because it is not Modi. It is also Trump. It's Bolsonaro. It's Duterte. Uh, it's Viktor Orban. It's, uh, it's people, what is happening to our fellows in like across the world. So this is not only about India. It's about joining hands in solidarity and fighting fascists across the border. You must be feeling so proud that the community are out here today in their masses. Absolutely, 100%, every single one. Ordinary people, working people, mothers, fathers, sons, daughters, trade unionists, people from all over the world, people from who live in London have come together to say, we're in solidarity with those protesters, the ones who died, the ones who lost their life, the, ones who, the, the mothers and the fathers who have lost their um, sons and daughters. That's who we're here with, and we're, we're here in solidarity with the millions of people that are going to be made uh, completely homeless by the fascist regime that is gathering pace in India. I'm thinking this is just the beginning. We will carry on marching until we win. The campaign goes on. Keep the revolution, Elon! Keep the revolution! Where are you from, sir? Where are you from? From Ireland. From Ireland. And yeah. you are here supporting... I'm here supporting and for why people's was human, important human for rights. to support. I'm here to support the human rights of people here who have protested and made themselves apparent and let people know we have our own liberties and our freedoms.